If you're seeing any of these icons around your city, they are indicating that your citizens are sick. Starting with the icon on the left, it is telling you that your citizens are sick due to ground pollution. Certain buildings, such as those from the generic industry zoning and some city service buildings like garbage and coal power plants, produce ground pollution. The amount of ground pollution the non-zoned buildings produced is shown on their info windows. The best way to see what areas are polluted is by going to the Pollution Info View, which will have a color map that shows areas of ground pollution. This type of pollution can be visually seen around your city and looks like a light brown discoloration on the ground with dead or dying vegetation. Ground pollution can be reduced by enabling the Filter Industrial Waste City Planning Policy or building the School of Science building that is part of the University campus from the Campus DLC. Residential buildings should not be zoned in areas with ground pollution, and if they are, they should be moved. Ideally, these residential buildings would be zoned outside areas with ground pollution to prevent your citizens from becoming sick. If you want to zone an area with residential buildings that was previously contaminated with ground pollution, once the source of pollution is removed, it will slowly dissipate over time. The next icon indicates that the water of your city is contaminated and causing your citizens to become sick. If the water services of your city are using the water pumping station and water drain pipes, you need to make sure that your water intake is upstream from where you are dumping polluted water. When you select either the pumping station or drain pipes, you are automatically switched into the water info view. The water info view shows arrows in the water that indicate both magnitude and direction of water flow. This should be used to plan out where you are putting the water services for your city. Water pollution can be seen on both the water and pollution info views, and it is also visually indicated by brown and discolored water. Water pollution can be reduced by upgrading your water drains to treatment plants or using the floating garbage collector from the Green Cities DLC and or using the inland treatment plants and algae-based water filtering from the Sunset Harbor DLC. And the previously mentioned School of Science will also help reduce your water pollution. In this case, relocating the water pumps away and upstream from contaminated water will solve the problem. If the water services of your city are using the water towers, you need to make sure that the water towers are not on contaminated ground. This is a bit of a crossover between the ground pollution and water pollution in that water towers placed on polluted ground will contaminate the city water supply. The easiest way to fix this problem is to relocate your water tower to ground that is not contaminated. The third icon is showing you that your citizens are sick due to noise pollution. Noise pollution is from busy roads with lots of large vehicles and certain buildings such as public transportation and unique buildings, which will indicate the amount of noise pollution they generate in their info windows. There is no visual indicator for noise pollution and you will have to rely on the noise pollution info view window, which has an icon that looks like a pair of headphones. Residential buildings that are too close to areas that generate lots of noise pollution will have sick citizens. Noise pollution along roadways can be reduced by upgrading to highways with sound barriers from the Mass Transit DLC or upgrading to roadways with trees. Noise from buildings can be reduced by using trees or offices as buffers as they do not produce more noise pollution and are not affected by it. The best way to avoid having sick citizens due to noise pollution is providing sufficient distance and buffers between noise generators and residential buildings. The last icon with the red background indicates that citizens in the building have been sick for some time and are at risk of dying or abandoning the building. Unfortunately, all three of the previous icons transform into the same red icon, so there is no way to tell what the source of their sickness is. You will either have to do some investigative work with the ground and noise pollution info views, or look around the city for some of the early stage icons if the problem is widespread. All three types of sicknesses are also directly related to the healthcare coverage of your city and it is important to make sure that you have sufficient hospitals and clinics for the size of your city. I hope this video was helpful to anyone having these issues. I have linked some reference information down below in the description of the video. If you have some of your own tips or tricks related to sick citizens, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below for myself or anyone else who may be having a problem with this topic. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like or dislike to let me know what you thought of the video. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already for some more City Skylines content in the future.